Take a deep breath in and breathe out. In and out. In and out. Continue to breathe deeply, slowly and comfortably. I'll count down now from 10 to 1. As I say each number, you will become more relaxed. So let's begin. 10. You feel your muscles start to relax. 9. Your hands and feet are warming and relaxing. 8. Your muscles are becoming loose and heavy. 7. Notice your attention drifting, becoming more relaxed. 6. Relaxing even further now, peaceful. 5. A tingly feeling of relaxation spreading through your body, a pleasant and relaxed feeling. 4. Further relaxed and peaceful now. 3. Free of all tension. 2. Almost completely relaxed now. 1. You are now deeply relaxed. Very deeply relaxed and comfortable. 2. In a few weeks you will be flying to Calgary to play in the Junior National Squash Championships. Today I am going to guide you through one of your matches. We've talked about the importance of having a pre-match routine. This is what enables you to get into the zone to play your best squash. So let's begin. It's 30 minutes before your match time. It's time to begin your routine. You tie up your shoelaces and put on some of your favorite tunes. Now it's time to go through your warm-up routine step by step. Picture yourself going through each exercise. You can feel your body temperature begin to rise and your joints loosening up. If you feel a bit nervous, you remember to take a deep breath, getting air deep into your lungs. Just like the waves in the ocean, our breath never rushes. Now take a deep, full breath. Let your lungs expand fully and then slowly exhale. Feel your chest slowly rise and expand on each inhale. You repeat this breathing routine anytime you feel some nervous energy. A deep, slow inhalation followed by a long, full exhale. These deep breaths help to relax all the tension in your body. Take the next five minutes to visualize your warm up routine that you designed earlier this week.
Now you finish your warm up and it's almost time for your match. Time for a deep breath. Remember, just like the waves of the ocean, our breath never rushes. Take another deep, deep breath. Inhale as much oxygen as you can. Feel it filling up and expanding your lungs. Now slowly release as you exhale and begin to relax further. The match before yours is just finishing. You are by the court with your racket in hand, your grip feels tacky and comfortable in your hand. Now that you've completed your warm up routine, you feel confident and relaxed. You're focused, in the zone, and ready to play. The match before you is just finished. You open up the door and walk on the court. You pick up the warm ball and begin hitting forehand drives. Notice the crisp sound of the ball. You hit some great drives and a few volleys. You're on your toes, bouncing around, focused and prepared for your match. Now the referee says switch, so you go to your backhand side and continue hitting. You continue bouncing around on your toes, finally the referee calls time, and you spin your racket. You get the first serve. You walk off the court and take a sip from your water bottle. You take a deep breath before walking back on court. Your positive energy is very apparent as you're bouncing around on your toes. You hit a few forehand drives before moving into the service box and while you wait for the referee to make his announcement. Welcome to the 2015 Canadian Junior Nationals Best of Five Games, Love All. You take a deep, deep breath and go through your pre-serve routine, step by step. You hit your first serve into the side wall and your opponent hits a weak drive. You volley it to length and maintain your strong tee position. The same thing repeats itself and this time hit a volley cross court drive. You're already feeling confident. You are owning the tee as your opponent is stuck behind you. Your opponent scrambles to get back your cross court drive and hits a weak boast where you pounce on the ball and hit a sharp low hard drive for an outright winner. You walk to the left service box and wait for the referee to announce the score, one love. You take another deep, deep breath before going through your pre-serve routine. You take your stance in the left service box and hit another great serve into the side wall. This time your opponent hits a better return and finally forces you into the back corner. You glide into the backhand corner and hit a tight, deep drive and easily regain the tee. You exchange a few more drives until you force a loose ball and you cut it off and hit a tight, straight volley drop that your opponent is unable to retrieve. You are dominating the tee, hitting the ball tight and crisp. Your opponent has no answers. The score is now 2 love. Over the next 5 minutes, continue playing out the rest of the game shot by shot, including your pre-serve routine. Remember to take that deep breath after each and every point.
The first game is now complete. You're in the zone playing free flowing squash. Your length is tight and deep, putting lots of pressure on your opponent. You're owning the tee, hitting lots of volleys each rally. When the referee makes a poor decision, it doesn't bother you. That's outside of your control and you don't let distractions get to you. You simply take a deep breath and move on. Even if you lose a game, you stay positive. If you stay positive and fight for every point right until the very end, you will be successful regardless of the outcome. Remember the key points to getting and staying in the zone. Having a clear mind and letting go of all external distractions. Taking those deep breaths and staying focused. Now go ahead and take a deep, deep breath. Feel the air fill up and expand your lungs. As you exhale, you feel the tension and distractions disappear as you regain your focus. You feel your shoulders drop and relax further with each and every breath. After you take your deep breath, remember to use your cue word. Your cue word will help you refocus on the present. To play the best next point, you have to forget about the last one, good or bad. Take a deep breath and use your cue word to reinstall your objective. Let's now visualize how we will respond in some challenging situations. You're deep in the tournament, playing a high-seeded player. Because of your excellent preparation, you come flying out of the gates. In a matter of minutes, you're up 10-5 in the first game. One point at a time, your opponent saves off game ball after game ball until now your opponent ties it up at 10-all. The game isn't over yet. How can you fight off your opponent's momentum? Over the next two minutes, visualize the completion of the game. Were you able to refocus and win that game? Remember, in these situations, you have to relax and refocus. The pass is behind you and is no longer relevant. Take a deep breath between points and regroup. The quicker you could do this, the better you will handle a challenging situation such as this one. Time for the next situation, number two. Nobody enjoys having a bad start to a game. Let's imagine you came out a little flat. You're down 7-love in the first game and are feeling tense about your slow start. Do you give the game up? How do you relax, find your zone, and gain some momentum? Over the next five minutes, finish off this game shot by shot, down 7-love. Remember to visualize your refocusing routine between points. Good luck.
how did you envision the completion of this game? Did you come back and win it? Make it close? In this type of situation, it's normal to begin to worry about getting bageled. It isn't our shots that we need to get on track here as much as it is our mind. If you stay positive and are able to begin each rally focused, it will give you the best opportunity to come back in this type of situation. At the very least, you will get some momentum going into the second game and can settle into your optimal performance zone. Here's the next challenging situation. Number three. We are near the end of your match. The score is nine all in the fifth game. The end is in sight now, but you realize your thoughts are drifting way ahead of the finish line. You're thinking about how amazing it would be to win this match, how great a boost to your ranking points it would be. Holding the trophy up high, your parents proud, your friends cheering. You notice this, and before the next point, take off your eye guards and clean them off. You take an extra few seconds to refocus and take a deep breath. Remove those distracting thoughts from your head. You take a deep, deep breath and repeat your positive cue word. You are now refocused on the task at hand. Play a high percentage point. You serve the ball and have a long, hard, grueling rally. It finishes with your opponent receiving a questionable stroke decision. Now it's 10-9 match ball for your opponent. What goes through your mind? Over the next two minutes, visualize your reaction to this situation and the completion of the match. How did you respond to this situation? Were you able to forget about the decision and move on? Accept that this is simply another challenging situation and is once again something outside of your control that you must put behind you. How you react and handle these situations is what allows you to become a consistent and an elite squash player. You take your time, even retie your shoe or clean your eye guards if you like. You take a deep breath and repeat your cue word. You don't start the next point until you've rid yourself of all the negative thoughts about the referee's decision. You've forgotten about the last point, like switching off a light switch. Once you flip the switch back on, you've moved on. You can't change the past, so don't play in it. Here is the last challenging situation, number four. Let's imagine you are in the finals of the tournament and your opponent hasn't dropped a game yet. In the warm up, your opponent is dancing around and cracking the ball and your body is already tired and sore. But there is a national title on the line. Now let's imagine that you were up two games to love before losing game three and game four. It's the start of the fifth game and you're completely exhausted while your opponent still seems fresh. 
Take the next five minutes to visualize the fifth game of the match, shot by shot, point by point. What do you say to yourself and do between points to stay positive, energized, and focused on the task at hand?
how did you respond to this situation? Are you a national squash champion? Remember that fatigue is often more psychological than physical. It's your brain telling you that you're tired. What if you told your brain that you're not tired? What if you said that you're not sore or you don't feel bad or that this is something that you can handle? Many people would have lost this match in their head before even stepping on the court, likely happy with just getting to the finals. If you can keep fighting and stay positive, you give yourself a good shot at winning in this situation. Many people who have lost this kind of match have lost it in their head before even stepping on the court. Never be content. Strive for more. That's what will make you great. The power of the mind is what separates the top athletes in every sport. They can see themselves performing well and being successful in any situation. If you've had difficulty visualizing yourself handling these challenging situations well in your mind, like any skill set, it just takes practice. If you believe it, you can do it. Now let's finish off with a couple of deep, deep breaths. Remember, just like the waves never rush in the ocean, neither does your breathing. Now take a long, slow, full inhale. Feel your lungs expand and then you slowly release and exhale tension away. Inhale to relax. Exhale to release tension. Inhale to relax. Exhale to release tension. That completes our visualization program. Enjoy the remainder of your float. When the music begins to play, you will know it's time to get out of the tank and shower off.